Presley the Spider, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna perk it down and uh, ready to go. <clears throat> when you did your movie, it sounds like you've only done one movie. Yeah. Yes, when your you, only movie, Mrs. Doubtfire. When you did your part. film. When you did your film. Um, was it uh, very <laughs> agonising having all your stuff on? Your ladies' oh, costume. My, oh, it's not my stuff. Oh, yeah. thank you. Oh, your, your ladies', ladies costume. Part. Yes, uh, the agonising part is uh, stuffing my stuff, as it were. You know, um, tucking, doing that, um, you know... Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Retiring the old sergeant, as it were. <laughs> <laughs> you know, basically saying, uh, <laughs> Good night, my friend, old oh, one-eyed blue. Um, it was, <laughs> and now that we're in Elvis' is bed, thank you very much. It is, uh, it was, it was, uh, the makeup itself took like four hours, you know, and it's all heavy prosthesis, which I didn't think I'd be using this hour of the morning. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the hair, too. But it, it, yeah, it was like, um, a long process, plus the bodysuit is like wearing a giant beanbag futon. So did you just sweat all day? I did, dear, like Elizabeth Taylor after a Mexican meal. <laughs> <laughs> and did it make you bad? <laughs> did, did it make you horribly grumpy? Grumpy, yeah, I was, I was a bit, I was a bit PMS, yeah. Like, get it on with it! It's also, <laughs> I'm sure I'd get letters for that. She's a lovely woman, why did you say that? <laughs> Robin, it's Michael, don't ever say that again. Okay, so. Um, that's why I developed this perfume. Uh, <laughs> to compensate for... <laughs> Easy! <laughs> <laughs> this is very comfortable. This is, this is like therapy now. Um, so, Robbie, I'll go to my next question. Yeah, mm. keep going. Yeah, I did get grumpy. And, and also, at the end of the day, the makeup tend to fall apart. You know, it, when you sweat that much... I have that problem where right. it goes cracked on your nose. Yeah, so yours doesn't fall off. No, that's true. <laughs> yours doesn't get like Freddy Krueger at home, you know. Like, so, I think we should stop now. You know? It's like, you know, it's outtakes from Phantom, you know. So, it wasn't fun to be a girl. You didn't sort of think there were advantages. Did you suddenly feel in tune with your feminine side? I did. Where you thought, yes. yes and I actually had a period. <laughs> <laughs> Which is like, wow. you were a method actor. Yeah, that, that whole method thing. I'm, I'm just angry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're back. So. So you obviously didn't ring Dustin Hoffman up and ask for any... You no, know, for tips, yeah. yeah. Transvestite hotline. Yes. <laughs> Here on TV chat... No, I didn't, uh, you know, I live in San Francisco, you don't have to walk far, you know. <laughs> there's the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, there's St. Frederick's of Hollywood, you know, there's a lot of different places. Why do you live in San Francisco? Um, because it's not L.A. <laughs> you tend to get shot at less. And, uh, I mean, it is uh, still on a fault line, but it's like, I'll do that too. Thank you. Um, I just like living there because I grew up there, it's a great place. It's like the only place in the world where even Fellini would go, I can't use that in a movie, you know. <laughs> it's, it's such a great... It's a wild and crazy and a beautiful city, too. Lot of mist. I've never thought of that. <laughs> we call it fog. Huh. It's like, a, it is mist, and it's also, it is cold, and um, the air is breathable. You don't see, actually, uh, animals in the morning going, kill me. <laughs> it's, it's just a nice place. And it's not L.A., so I can be away from the business. Where, you know, even if you get stopped by a highway patrolman, he's not going. In L.A., sometimes you get stopped by the police, and they go, would you get out of your car? Mr. Williams, hi, I've got a script. <laughs> I'd like to show you this idea I have. It's uh, kind of a Mrs. Doubtfire spinoff, but she's a cop. How's that? <laughs> Mrs. Rimfire! She's back. She's got an automatic weapon. Watch the fun. But I, I, that's where I live. Your wife, Marsha, she's, is it true she's your business manager? As no. well as, oh, no, good. She, uh, she takes care of, uh, manages the, the house and all the different things, but no, she's not my business manager. Oh, well, that's a relief, because I was thinking, how awful to have to do your VAT returns with your wife. Oh, yeah, you know, to have to actually sit there and file together, you know. Yeah, I mean, that wouldn't be fun. I'm not very good with that. I just go, wow, well, that'd be nice. How and much did, do we owe, you know? She did produce Mrs. Dapper. Yes, did it, did it. She did everything on it, really. I mean, I'm a producer with her, but I'm, I'm kind of like Ronald McDonald. I'm just the clown with the big shoes. You're sort of typical <laughs> husband. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like the male lion who sits at home and going, <laughs> find food. But you know, <laughs> once again, I saw you go, but she found the book, she basically uh, nurtured the script, went through all the different rewrites of it, and then when it got time to actually pre-production, she was doing all the legwork, all the location scouting, costume planning, everything. Well, where were you, with the children? Yes, oh sure I was. <laughs> <laughs> yes, good fuck. All right, everybody, Daddy really loves you, so we're going to put on Aladdin while Daddy does a little research. <laughs> you know, VCR, Papa. I was, actually it was weird, because my son, this morning, we, and they're trying to get sleep, you know, you're like, uh, and I woke up and he had a little pirate pistol going, 
I killed you. <laughs> oh, look. How old is your son? Ah, uh, he's 30. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Menendez home game. No, um, he's two. And I have a, a daughter who's four and another son who's ten. And you don't have any more babies? Not that I, not that I know of. I think, no, I think that's enough. Three, that's, you're done, right? You're finished. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it's over. I think it's, unless, I think now it's just go to the, the sperm bank and make the night deposits. You know? Well, it's been one of the most overheated experiences I've ever had. Well, I think it's been interesting. And just feel me. All right. <laughs> feel me, Robin, because I want you to feel. I feel like... God, you're hot. I am hot, aren't I? Ooh, Bob, you, you love it. It's a great thing, this. <laughs> it's been very lovely to hear all about you. Thank you. This has been a nice day here in Elvis's Bayad. Thank you.